In Ghana, certain families stand out like glittering jewels, with their names being synonymous with wealth, influence, and a legacy woven into the country's success. In this video, we're going to look into Ghana's wealthiest families. These people are not only wealthy, but are regarded as the guardians of their financial empires, patrons of industry, and builders of economic prosperity. These families are more than just tycoons. They are the bearers of legacies that have shaped the country's economic narrative. So buckle up as we look into the fascinating lives of Ghana's wealthiest families, where fortunes have been meticulously built and each success echoes through the nation's economic history. 10. The Komoni Family, $700 million Led by patriarch Albert Komoni, has carved a distinguished niche in various sectors, leaving an indelible mark on Ghana's economic landscape. Their journey began with a modest venture, but through unwavering dedication and astute business acumen, they have ascended to become one of the country's wealthiest families. Diversification is the cornerstone of the Kalmanist success. Their business empire includes real estate, finance, and hospitality, demonstrating a deep understanding of the complexities of modern commerce. The family's dedication to excellence is reflected in their businesses, which range from opulent hotels to cutting-edge financial services. Beyond their entrepreneurial endeavors, the Kalmanists are active philanthropists who contribute to Ghana's social development. Their story is more than just financial success. It is also about responsibility and giving back to the community. 9. The Irani Brothers, $800 million Led by visionary patriarchs who dare to dream big, the Irani Brothers have turned their entrepreneurial dreams into a thriving legacy. From humble beginnings, their journey exemplifies Ghana's limitless opportunities for those with a bold vision and a tenacious spirit. The Irani brothers have woven their success across multiple industries, from manufacturing to technology, leaving an indelible mark on Ghana's economic landscape. Their ventures demonstrate not only business acumen, but also a dedication to quality and customer satisfaction. As community pillars, the Irani brothers are not only business leaders, but also benevolent stewards of social responsibility. Their philanthropic initiatives reflect a desire to uplift the communities that have contributed to their success. 8. Quain Despite Family, $800 million Oze Quain Despite, a prominent Ghanaian business magnate and entrepreneur, was born on February 2, 1962, in Mos, a shanty region, Ghana. Despite is well known for his visionary leadership and innovative business ventures which have left an indelible mark on Ghana's economic landscape. Despite's journey to success began in humble circumstances, he began his career trading music cassettes, which eventually laid the groundwork for the formation of the Despite group of companies. The group is one of Ghana's leading conglomerates, operating in a variety of industries such as media, finance, and manufacturing. The Despite Media Group, which owns and operates some of Ghana's most popular media outlets, is a major contributor to the company's success. These include Peace FM, UTV, OK FM, and Neat FM, which collectively reach millions of Ghanaians. Despite's entrepreneurial spirit has extended to the manufacturing sector, with the establishment of the Despite Royal Collection DRC companies, which produce everything from bottled water to textiles. 7. Odaymat Family, $850 million Alhaji Muhammad Ahmed Odaymats is a key figure, with ventures spanning multiple industries and leaving an indelible mark on the country's economic narrative. Alhaji Muhammad Ahmed Odaymats' journey demonstrates the power of vision and tenacity. From the beginning of his career to the pinnacle of his entrepreneurial prowess, he has blazed a trail marked by innovation, resilience, and a keen understanding of market trends. Alhaji Odaymat is a luminary in industries ranging from commerce to technology, and his influence extends beyond boardrooms to the lives of many Kenyans. His commitment to excellence and ethical business practices has not only propelled his businesses to success, but has also contributed to the nation's overall economic growth and stability. 6. Mahama Family $860 million Michael Abraham Mahama emerged as a visionary whose story would intertwine with the intricate threads of business success. His journey began in the context of the country's economic fabric, where resilience and innovation would become the defining characteristics of his entrepreneurial legacy. 
Early in his career, Michael Abraham Mahama navigated the complexities of the business world with tenacity and a vision that went beyond convention. His innate ability to anticipate opportunities and overcome obstacles became clear as he embarked on ventures that would transform Ghana's economic landscape. 5. Nabil Edmund Mukarzal, $900 million Nabil Mukarzal owns the most valuable shares of the Flanitrade Group, one of West Africa's largest food manufacturing and distribution companies. Mukarzal's company is Ghana's largest food distributor and rice importer, with brands such as Rice Master and Sultana. Flanitrade and its subsidiaries distribute and market raw commodities and frozen foods. It sells vegetable oil, sugar, rice, cocoa, meat, ice cream, dairy products, beverages, powdered milk, animal feed, tiles, granite, marble, false ceilings, and sanitary and kitchen supplies. Additionally, the company offers warehousing and logistics services. Finitrade is Ghana's largest commodity and distribution company, with operations in seven West African countries. Mukarzal employs more than 2,000 Ghanaians. 4. Dramani Mahama Family, $900 million John Dramani Mahama is a Ghanaian politician who served as President of Ghana from July 24, 2012 to January 7, 2017. He previously served as Ghana's Vice President from January 2009 to July 2012 and took office as President on July 24, 2012, following the death of his predecessor, John Evans Fifi Adam Mills. He was a member of parliament for Bull Bamboy from 1997 to 2009 and deputy minister for communication from 1997 to 1998 before becoming substantive minister for communications in 1998. Mahama is Ghana's first vice president to take over the presidency following the death of his predecessor, John Evans Adam Mills, and the country's first head of state born after independence. He was elected president on a full-time basis following the December 2012 elections. He ran for re-election a second time in 2016, but was defeated by new Patriotic Party candidate Nana Akufo-Addo. As a result, he became Ghana's first president to not be re-elected. 3. Addo Kufour Family, $1.2 billion Dr. Kwame Addo Kufour is a Ghanaian politician and doctor. Addo Kufour represented Manhaya in Parliament and served as Minister of Defense under his brother, President John Kufour, from 2001 to 2007. He served as Minister of the Interior from June 2008 to 2009. Addo Kufour belongs to the new Patriotic Party. He became a member of Parliament in January 1997 after winning the general election in December 1996. He was re-elected as a member of parliament for the Manhaya constituency in Ghana's fourth parliament, the Fourth Republic. 2. Jonah Family, $1.2 billion Dr. Sam E. Jonah, a highly respected Ghanaian business leader and mining executive, was born on November 19, 1949, in Obwasi, Ghana. Throughout his career, Dr. Jonah has had a significant impact on the mining industry in Ghana and beyond. He is best known for his tenure as president and CEO of Anglo Gold Ashanti, a major gold mining company. Under his leadership, Anglo Gold Ashanti grew into a major player in the global mining industry. Aside from his contributions to the mining industry, Dr. Sam E. Jonah is known for his commitment to corporate governance and social responsibility. His leadership has frequently prioritized sustainable practices and community development, demonstrating a dedication to ethical and responsible business practices. Dr. Jonah's multifaceted career has not only had a long-term impact on the mining industry, but it has also established him as a respected figure in Ghana's and international business communities. 1. Terracone Family $1.3 billion Ernesto Terracone is a widely recognized entrepreneur and investor, known for his significant impact in Ghana's business arena. With a staggering net worth of $1.3 billion, Terracone currently holds the title of Ghana's wealthiest individual. He has established a formidable empire through his conglomerate, the Trasaco Group, which has a diverse portfolio spanning agriculture, construction, design, and real estate development, among others.
Terracone's remarkable rise from humble origins to a prominent figure in Ghana's business landscape speaks volumes about his unyielding vision, relentless perseverance, and unwavering dedication to achieving excellence. Ernesto Terracone, an Italian entrepreneur, developed a passion for business at a young age. In the 1990s, he ventured into Ghana with limited resources but a bold vision, starting with importing and selling agricultural machinery. He expanded his business into other sectors, such as construction, mining, and real estate development in Ghana. Ernesto Terracone's accomplishments as a businessman and investor in Ghana are truly remarkable. Starting from modest beginnings, he has built a billion-dollar conglomerate, the Trasaco Group, which stands as a testament to his unwavering vision, determination, and perseverance. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Please leave a like and a sub so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. See you in the next video.